Today we're going to talk about why atoms are solids, liquids, and gases. Now, if we go with the old atom, magic atom, proton, electron, what causes it? Vibrates. Of course, that defies the laws of physics, but if it vibrates a little bit, it's a solid. If it vibrates more, it's a liquid. If it vibrates a lot more, really violates the laws of physics, big time, that it's a gas. All right. That makes sense to you? Fine. But it doesn't make sense to me. Let me show you how it really works with the key ring atom. The key ring atom, what causes solids, liquids, and gases? Well, this is a very cold hydrogen. The electron rings are very small, the density is high, and it'll lay flat. It's that simple. That's what causes it to be a solid. Low density lays flat. Now, if you get hotter, like this one right here, all right, it doesn't lay as flat, the density is less, and it'll roll. It has the ability to roll. That's what makes it a liquid. Very easy. Or if you go to these hotter atoms here, like so, way less density, and it's bouncy. It'll bounce, and it'll float. That's how simple the key ring atom is. It's just simply the size of the electron rings control the density, and whether it lays flat, rolls, or floats. And that's how easy it is with the key ring atom. Solids are denser, all right, and they lay flat. Liquids are a ball, and they roll. Just like when you take a jar of BBs, pour them in another jar, they roll. That's what a liquid is. And a gas is blown up just like a balloon and gets bouncy. Very simple. You don't have to have any vibrations to do all that, just a little bit of common sense. Just remember, physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry. Thank you.